Welcome to Cozy Noah Vibes, a podcast designed to help you relax and fall asleep. I'm your host, Noah. Thank you for joining us tonight as we continue with our seasonal theme and take you on a unique and relaxing winter train journey. We will travel through enchanting winter landscapes until you gently drift off to sleep. Now, let's begin this peaceful journey into a beautiful night. First, find a comfortable position in your bed and take a few deep breaths. If you still feel some tension from the day, when you inhale, lift your shoulders to your neck, tighten and hold for a few seconds, then slowly exhale and lower your shoulders. On your next inhale, imagine all your stress and worries are concentrated in your shoulders. As you exhale, feel all the tension flow down your body through your toes and doubt into the world. Repeat this a few times until you release any bird and or stress completely. With each exhale, your body will become more relaxed and soft and your mind will gently let go of any distractions. Now, let your imagination run free. Follow my voice and drift into a dream. Let your thoughts leave the room. Leave all your worries. Fly over the sleeping world and arrive on a starry winter night at the top of a snow-covered mountain. This is where our story begins. The cold air brushes against your nose as you stand at the peak of a snow-covered mountain, overlooking the small town below. In the distance, the windows of small houses emit a warm golden glow. Some rooftops decorated with colorful string lights that twinkle merrily. Even from up here, the snow is bathed in a silvery blue light, and the entire world glitters under the pearly glow of the full moon, the crisp air making the distant town look dreamlike. For a moment, you can imagine yourself as a bird, able to soar and glide over the community, slowly descending to a cozy house below. Through the windows, you can see a family gathered around a table, smiling faces, or someone sitting in a comfy armchair next to a crackling fireplace. But a gentle breeze pulls your mind back to the present moment. The night deepens, and the air grows colder. You think it might be warmer on the path through the woods, so you take one last look at the sleeping town and turn to head back. Stepping through the snow, you follow your footsteps back, now glazed with a layer of ice, your boots crunching and leaving fresh prints. The air smells crisp and fresh, a low temperature masking any other scents that might have drifted on the wind, leaving only a faint pine fragrance in the dampness of snow. You find an easy rhythm as you walk, not paying much attention to the passage of time, just steadily moving over the hill and into the forest. Soon, you find yourself surrounded by the forest, a snow-covered ground shimmering under the moonlight. Tall pine trees rising overhead, their branches heavy with snow. The shadows of the night are longer, the trees seeming taller, reaching for the starry sky. After a while, the path levels out, and you come to a more open part of the forest. Not quite a clearing, but less dense with trees. The path vanishes among the dark trunks, and you stop to look around, turning slowly to take in your surroundings. When you face the way you came, you notice a redwood unpost 
with a rectangular sign on top, elegantly lettered in gold. Platform one. It's strange. You think. What could this sign be pointing to? There's nothing here but you. Trees. And the snowy path. You look back. And as expected, there's nothing behind you. When you turn back again, the forest has changed. Now, there are glistening silver tracks laid out on the snowy ground, stretching into the distance between the trees. You're sure the tracks weren't here before. In fact, you hadn't seen them when you first arrived in this area. You close your eyes and rub your forehead gently, thinking it might be late and your inaction is playing tricks on you. But when you open your eyes again, the forest has transformed. To your right, there's a redwood and bench with a sign that reads waiting area. Further on, there's a quaint little building with warm light glowing from the windows. Just like the distant town, the door has station, written on it in elegant script. Curious, you walk towards the station, but don't go inside. Instead, you cup your hands around your eyes and peer through the window. Frost covers the glass, and your breath fogs it up. The warm glow comes from an old-fashioned lantern illuminating an empty waiting area, a deserted ticket counter. Before you can ponder how all this came to be, you hear a distant train whistle. Soon, the low rumbling sound of a train approaching through the trees. You leave the window and look toward the tracks, but the train is not yet in sight. You return to the bench, waiting for the train to arrive. The train whistle blows twice, clear and loud. The rumbling grows louder, and the train gradually approaches the station. Soon, you see a bright circular light in the darkness, the headlight of the train coming your way. The train sweeps towards the station, sending a spray of snow on either side, the snow plow in front clearing the way. Smoke billowing around and mingling with the snowflakes. When the train finally stops in front of you, you see the front decorated with a large festive bow. Like the station, the train seems to come from another era. It's an old-fashioned steam train with a round engine and a chimney. A friendly conductor in a navy blue uniform with silver button steps down from the carriage, looks around, sees you by the bench, and waves you aboard. Come on up, he says with a smile. You ask where the train is going tonight, to see the magic of winter, he says. You tell him it sounds wonderful, but you don't have a ticket. That's all right, he says, pulling a rectangular ticket from his pocket and handing it to you. Looking down, you read the small print, ticket, one way or round trip, with or without luggage. Welcome aboard the winter train. His eyes sparkle as he watches you read. It all seems so magical. For a moment, you consider thanking him and continuing your walk home. After all, it's not every day you find a mysterious train in the woods and board it. Just as you ponder, a soft snowflake lands on your coat, followed by another and another. You look up at the sky, feeling like you're in a snow globe, snowflakes gently falling all around you. It's like magic, you think, and this thought helps you make your decision. With a smile, you step onto the train. The conductor leads you further inside. 
inviting you to follow him to your own compartment. This is a sleeper train, he explains, so you can sit and enjoy the scenery until you want to sleep. Then lie down in a cozy bed and drift off with the train's gentle rocking. You follow him past rows of comfortable seats, upholstered in midnight blue fabric with silver trimmings, matching the large windows with their drawn back curtains. Through the glass, the snowy landscape outside looks dreamlike, framed by the tall pines lining the tracks. He leads you into another car, with walls lined with doors at regular intervals. These are the sleeping compartments. He explains, yours is on the left. He stops at your door, turns the handle, and opens it, and gestures for you to enter while he waits in the corridor. You thank him for his help. He smiles and wishes you a pleasant journey, then leaves you to settle in. You take a moment to look around your compartment, a small but cozy space. There's a bed with fluffy pillows and a warm blanket, and a seat by the window to enjoy the view. There's also a small table with a silver tray holding a teapot and a pot of cocoa, along with a plate of cookies, some dipped in chocolate and some plain. You take a cookie and bite into it, the crisp texture melting in your mouth, putting down the remaining cookie. You pour yourself a warm drink, inhaling deeply to enjoy the familiar, comforting aroma. Then you sink into the seat, watching the winter landscape outside. As you feel comfortable, the train whistles twice and you feel a slight rumble beneath your feet as the train begins to move along the tracks. As the train picks up speed, you relax, enjoying its rhythm, swaying back and forth as it moves through the forest. Your shoulder leans against the glass, your gaze passively following the passing scenery. Initially, the sights are similar to those you walked through not long ago, with pine trees blocking out the sky, only fragments of stars visible through the branches. Occasionally, you catch a glimpse of the moon, so bright you almost feel like you're dreaming, never having seen such a perfect, vivid forest and sky. The tracks seem to carve their path through the trees, mostly moving in a straight line until you see distant mountains, their rocky peaks covered in thick white snow, softening their edges and angles. You watch as they grow larger, the train heading toward them. Soon, the tracks curve around the base of the first mountain, the steep slope filling your window with a blur of white and gray and the moonlight. As your eyelids grow heavier, you struggle to keep up with the fleeting scenery, briefly closing your eyes, your head resting against the cold glass, your body swaying comfortably in the seat, easing into the motion, your consciousness drift, the train's movement bringing a sense of peace and contentment. You can feel yourself drifting, entering the familiar darkness behind your eyelids. When you open your eyes again, you find the train has left the mountains and is passing through a different forest. This forest is unfamiliar to you, the trees much larger than the pines you walked through earlier, their trunks twisted with age. It feels like a magical forest, blanketed in white snow, just then, you see something moving between the trees. You press your face to the glass, trying to get a clearer view. Soon, you see a silver sleigh with golden bells hanging from its corners. 
You imagine you can almost hear their ethereal jingle. The sleigh is drawn by four beautiful white horses. Each step they take raising a spray of snow. And the sleighs are two ladies dressed in long robes. The color of snow, shimmering in the moonlight. The crowns on their heads seem woven from icicles and gold. The lady on the left wears a small wreath, while the one on the right wears a tall crown. Icicles and gold intertwine. The mysterious ladies travel alongside the train for a while, but soon the train outpaces the sleigh. You watch as the horses continue trotting through the snow. Who could they be? You wonder. They look like royalty, perfectly at home in this magical winter forest. As you ponder their identity, the train gently sways, tilting to the left, the tracks curving in that direction. You can see new sights in the forest. The first thing that catches your attention is a circle of tall evergreen trees in the distance seeming to glimmer with rainbow light. As the train gets closer, you see each tree is lavishly decorated. One tree is adorned with gingerbread decorations from top to bottom. Little cookie people decorated with icing, hanging from ribbons, along with houses, flowers, trees, and more. You can almost smell the gingerbread and molasses wafting through the glass. The next tree is simply adorned with cranberries, pinna cones, and paper snowflakes. Its simplicity and detail captivating you. The third and fourth trees are color coordinated, one in blue and the other in green all the ornaments matching their respective colors. The largest tree is adorned with sparkling lights and colorful bulbs, some white or gold, some multicolored. It towers above the other trees, radiating a warm, welcoming glow, illuminating the trees beside it. Even the snow on the ground below sparkles like gems reflecting the lights. It's a mesmerizing sight. You wonder who decorated these trees. If they passed by and admired their work like you do. As the train rounds another bend, you watch the decorated trees fade into the distance, recalling the moments spent decorating trees at night, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. The train sways gently, and you settle deeper into your seat. Around another bend, something else in the forest catches your eye. It's a herd of reindeer, happily standing by a shimmering stream, drinking the icy water. From this angle, you can see each reindeer covered in a thin layer of snow as if they've been walking in the snow for a long time. Their muscles are especially covered in white snow, reminding you of how they huddle together in the snow. As the reindeer disappear behind you into this magical forest, your eyelids grow heavy once more. It has been a day full of adventure and wonder, and now all you want to do is lie down in the comfortable bed Stretch out your arms and legs, and rest your head on the soft pillows, so you take one last sip of your warm drink, savoring its rich aroma and taste on your tongue. Then you change into your pajamas, snuggle under the covers, and lie down in bed, perfectly positioned to watch out the window. You watch as the trees and mountains race by, even seeing the falling snowflakes clearly. Soon, you close your eyes, letting your thoughts empty, releasing all thoughts of the day. You immerse yourself in the train's rhythm, 
swaying back and forth, gradually drifting into sleep. Your mind is filled with the rhythm of the train on the tracks, the silver sleigh, the twinkling trees, and the reindeer by the stream. You dream of the magic of winter and what it means to you on this perfect magical night.